Hey friends, happy Tuesday and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan. Today I have a haul to share with y'all from Aldi. It's not super big, we didn't need a ton, um, but because I knew that we would be under the budget, then I like splurged on a couple items that I wanted to try. So I'll be showing you that. Um, the reason it's so small is mostly because we've got a lot of stuff on hand. Um, and then I know I'll be going to Sam's Club, so some of the things that I need for dinner, like I plan to have rotisserie chicken on croissants the day that I do go to Sam's Club, so like that'll be picked up there. So we'll have a whole Sam's Club haul later this week for y'all. Um, and then also last week I did a bonus haul from Kroger and spent $150 there, so yeah. Uh, just didn't need a ton today. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the meal plan for the week and then we'll get into the haul. Okay, here is the meal plan for the week. So for breakfast, we've got kefir and granola and fruit for myself, eggs, toast, and fruit for all of us, like Mandy's off or something, and then yogurt, fruit, and waffle for the kids. For lunches, leftovers of course, quesadillas, snack boards, sandwiches, you know, that kind of thing. Just repeat that. And then for dinners, we've got Korean beef with rice and broccoli, tuna casserole, shrimp fried rice, pigs in a blanket with hash brown casserole and green beans, rotisserie chicken, croissant sandwiches with chips and fresh veggies. That's going to be the day that I go to Sam's Club. Uh, so a really easy meal. And then one pot lasagna and garlic bread, and then chicken and rice casserole. Okay, as I mentioned, it's not a ton of stuff today. It only, like, like that's it. That's it, usually it covers like all the way over to there. But yeah, that is it. And I was able to stay well under my budget. I spent just over $100. If you wanna leave a guess of the total, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below now and I will share the exact amount with you at the very end. We'll start over here with the produce. Got some broccoli, some carrots, honey crisp apples, some tomatoes, grape tomatoes, two things of strawberries. Their blueberries looked terrible this week, so I guess I'm just gonna eat strawberries with my kefir uh, this week because they were cheaper and uh, looked way better than the blueberries this week. Got a pineapple, because that's Andy's favorite. Some bananas, two cucumbers, two things of crescent rolls, a raspberry lemonade, and a strawberry lemonade. Andy loves those. Got a 2% milk, two things of our favorite orange juice. I didn't really need cold brew, but Elijah like went and grabbed it, and I was like, you know what? I guess I'll get some Stoke cold brew this week. Um, That'll last a couple days, and then I'll just make my own cold brew. Then I found these in the freezer section. I hadn't seen them before. They're, you know, like one of those things that'll be gone in a few weeks. But they are savory biscuits. It says heat and eat, ready in 45 seconds. So I don't know, I guess you could, yeah, microwave them. But they're cheddar and chive flavor, which just sounds really good, and it looks really good. There's six fully baked ready to eat biscuits in there. So yeah, I got those to try. I think it was like $5 for that, but they just, the cheddar and chive got me. It just sounded really, really good. Then for cheese, we got shredded sharp cheddar, shredded Mexican style, and shredded mozzarella. Got some hash browns to make hash brown casserole, a bag of frozen mixed veggies, some vanilla Greek yogurt, Cheddar cheese sticks. Um, I also want string cheese, but I'm gonna pick that up at Sam's Club. Um, I prefer string cheese to these. The kids really like these though. Then we got some turkey sausage snack sticks. This was a little splurge item. I think this was like three something. It's a little tomato basil Havarti cheese. It's supposed to be like really creamy. Um, I saw somebody on TikTok with this and she said this wasn't a cheese that she could just like eat a bite of because she keeps a a brick in the fridge just to like nibble on like a little mouse <laughs> whenever uh, she's hungry but she said this one was like too creamy for that but I thought maybe it'd be good like on some crackers maybe this says shred on pizza and pasta used for caprese salad pair with pinot grigio so yeah I love tomato basil stuff and it looks really good 
and I love her Barty, so I will let y'all know how I like that. Got some Munster, and then we had garlic bread on the list, but Lily saw these garlic knots and said she would prefer to have those. They were a little bit more expensive, but that's not something they have often, so we got those instead this week. Then we got some marinara sauce, coconut water, two things of the chicken flavored rice. One is for a recipe and then one just have in the cabinet. And then two cans of cream of chicken. I have some, but I'm also going to be using it in the recipe for the rice and then also in the hash brown casserole. So I didn't want to like use up everything that I have in the cabinet, so I went ahead and bought two cans. And then we've got some napkins, aluminum foil, fall, party cakes because it's about to be fall when you're seeing this it is fall but today's Friday and tomorrow is the first day of fall so I got those as a fun little treat and then they had some more like Aldi merch out and they had backpacks and cups and I don't even know what else but they had these hats beanies um, these were only $3.99 which I think is a really good price for a beanie and Lily picked out this one that's white with the blue and then the little Aldi color pom pom and we're gonna share these the kids and me um, will all share these but they're like they've got like soft fleece on the inside so they're nice and warm and then this one is just striped with the Aldi colors we wish that they had the striped one with the pom pom but I don't think that existed I think they only had this one with the pom pom but yeah we got those there was also just a plain like dark blue one and then a white one with no pom pom yeah, those were cute and only $3.99, and those will be good for the winter. And then I got this tablecloth. It's really cute. It's got leaves on it. I plan to use this for camping, though. We are going camping in the next few weeks. So last time we took a tablecloth to put it on the picnic table, and it was great having that instead of just, like, the rough wood. Uh, so I picked up one to take with us, and usually by the end of the camping trip, it is probably going to be messed up. Last time I know it was, it was looking rough. So we just like tossed it when we were done. But this is only like $3.50. So yeah, I got that. And that is it. That is it for the Aldi haul today. My total for everything that I got at Aldi today was around $105. The exact amount will be here on the screen for those of you that are interested. I don't think I did it too terribly. I did splurge on a couple items. So without that, then I would have been like, way under a hundred dollars but you know it is what it is sometimes you just gotta splurge and get a couple things um i will be having a sam's club haul later this week i plan to go on tuesday so like the day you're seeing this i should be at sam's club getting all of the meat and things to fill our freezer getting meat to take with us camping all that stuff snacks it's been a while i think i haven't been to sam's club since the beginning of august if I remember correctly. So we're, we're well overdue for a trip to Sam's Club. So make sure you stay tuned for that. That'll be probably going up on Friday. I hope y'all have a great week and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.